Are we really filming outside? Yes, we are filming outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm Jermaine Seguiers, founder of Life After Sports, and this is another episode of Transition Tuesday. Our goal with Transition Tuesday is to provide video tips every Tuesday to helpfully suggest tips and valuable content for former and current athletes to use when they're done with sports in the working world, as well as use in their sport. Now, we talked about winning mindset. We talked about being a team player. But this week, this week, yes, this week, right now, we're going to talk about why it's important to be coachable. Now, when you look back as an athlete, it's so important that we are coachable and receptive to what our coaches and our peers are saying to us. Now, before we get into the working world, let's go to how being coachable will help you excel in your sport. Well, the first thing is when you're coachable, you're being accountable and committed to your development. You want to get better. That's the whole purpose. You play sports is to develop to get better. And by doing that, you're hungry for feedback. You're hungry for your coaches to give you feedback to help you. Why? Develop to improve yourself. So when you're committed to your development, you're open and receptive to feedback from your coaches and peers to help you improve in your sport. Now, when you use that coachable tip, that knowledge, you transition it into the working world. Once you're done playing sports, you use that knowledge. What? Coachable. Why? Because you want to develop as now a CEO. You want to develop as a businessman. You want to develop in your own company or working for a company. You don't want to stay the same your whole time working this company. You want to develop. Take the company to a new level. Remember we talked about that? You always want to add value to yourself and to a company. So when you're coachable, you're being committed to developing. And when you're committed to developing, you ask your peers and you're very receptive to your boss or, the, or your peers that you work with for feedback to improve yourself. You always want to improve yourself. So when you're open to that receptive information, you're developing, you're improving yourself. But if you're not open to being coachable, you would never develop to be that athlete you desire to be in, in college or high school or at the professional level, and you would never develop in this new corporate job. You would never develop. You would stay the same place, the same job, the same amount of money, and you would never grow. Life is about growing. You have to grow. There are trees behind me, and they have been growing. If they would stay the same size, they were small, they wouldn't be big and strong. Think of yourself as a tree that wants to grow stronger, stronger every day, but you have to be coachable. This is Transition Tuesday. I'm so thankful you guys can join me on this amazing, beautiful day in Silver Spring, Maryland. Next week, next Tuesday, we're going to talk about work ethic and why it's important to have a strong work ethic. I'm Jermaine Seguiers. This is Life After Sports. Success never ends. It keeps going and going and going and going and going. Be better today than you were yesterday. I look forward to seeing you see this video next Tuesday. We talk about work ethic. Till next time, be coachable, love, live, matter. I love you all. You have a purpose.